Hey there everyone, it's Val and welcome back to, fall, uh, to uh, this is not Fallout 4, it doesn't look anything like Fallout 4. Why, did, why was I going to say that? Token Craft 2, The Labors of Valentine. <laughs> right, so you're probably gathering from the fact that I'm holding various leaf piles that I've been working with trees today. And in fact I have, and in fact I'm going to give you an overview as a... Ta-da! Okay, that wasn't so, as dramatic as I'd hoped. I need to be a little closer. Ta-da! <laughs> We've done a bunch of landscaping. Uh, we're waiting for a couple more trees to grow, but I think pretty much the landscape here is done. Uh, obviously, I need to do the garden up here, but that's going to be a little more orderly, um, I think. But I'm actually very happy with the way it turned out. So the zoo area is done. Uh, we have to go get another swan. I forgot to name the swan before I released it and of course as soon as I was far enough away it skedaddled. So something that I hadn't done with these trees was add leaf piles under them so I went around and it did that uh, as long along with all the new trees. So as you can see we got the nice meandering stream. We have water incoming from the every time it rains it goes through the filtration system comes out the waterfall and it, it refills our, our creek and cleans the water and it flows around through here in a nice meandering fashion. Comes over to here and I inset this a little bit because otherwise it was a little bit too tight of a fit here. Uh, so this, this one door has had to be moved in. And of course here's the zoo. We got our critters which were escaping once this, this uh, tree Whoops, once this tree grew, oops, let me put that string back. So I put up string around because they were, there was, there was, they were, only one of them stayed inside. The rest of them were all outside the pen. So I suspect there will be another change that I have to, oh, see. <laughs> right, so let's get out of there. Anyway, so that turned out a lot taller than I expected it would. We got an, an enormous willow tree. I don't know if they are all that tall or not, but it basically engulfed the poor uh, larch over here. Right, so anyway, the water it flows around through here, and it ends up here. So anytime there is an overflow of water, and it gets to here, it will go through there and into the system here. Now, I might change these to half or to slabs. Um, to make it look like the water can flow out a little easier, but I didn't want it to look like it's constantly flowing out uh, because it only would happen when it rains and the water level rises. So, yeah, I've got to think about that. Whether I want to change it or just keep it the way it is. But uh, now we have a nice path going here. What the heck? Oh, right, that's, that's outside. <laughs> ah, so there's water right there. Okay, so never mind. I thought we had uh, vines growing in here, and I was like, where'd those come from? I didn't plant those. Oh, hey, this beech tree grew. Excellent. Beech. We have one fallen larch leaf. Oh, dear. Okay, well, I guess uh, what I'll do is take this opportunity while the server, I think, is restarting. Uh, I might have to have a chat with Greater Raider about perhaps adjusting the time of the server restart <laughs> because it's going to happen in the middle of my end of the day tours. Well, um, okay, well, I guess I'll, I'll talk about something that I hadn't intended to until the end. Uh, but I have been asked a number of times to provide a way for people to do donate uh, to keep me on the internet and entertaining you. Uh, quickly and easily with a one-time donation as opposed to Patreon. Because with Patreon, in order to do a one-time donation, you have to uh, do the pledge, wait till the uh, first of the next month, wait for it to be processed, and then cancel your pledge so that just one payment goes through. And that's that uh, means you have to remember to come back and do that, and that's a pain. So. For those of you who wanted something faster and, and easier, um, I've been looking for a long time to find just the right
place because I wanted something that would both provide you uh, the I'll call you all patrons but the, the patron with uh, protection because I don't need to know your personal PayPal information and you don't need to know my personal personal PayPal information because well we just don't need it <laughs> it's safer uh, for everybody to go through a third party and I finally found um, a quick donation site that actually provides that and it actually provides a lot more as well it's called gamingforgood.net and what it actually lets you do is not only can you donate whether or not I'm streaming um, but it brings up uh, a twitch pane and the twitch chat so you can actually donate while I'm streaming and you can donate part all it's entirely up to you of the donation towards me or split it between me and the uh, charity that they currently support which is Save the Children. It doesn't look like this is restarting but I'll keep talking. Um, hopefully it will. I need to talk about this anyway so sorry for the boring graphic there <laughs> as we wait for that to start up. Right so gaming for good. As you donate uh, not just to me obviously but to other people who also use the service, you collect points. And you can take those points and can you, you can use them to buy games from quite a large number of, uh, a large catalog of games that they have in the system. So it's like you get an extra prize for being, you know, uh, a good person and helping out the people that you enjoy watching. So I hope you guys like that. Um, right now I won't have any kind of flare or anything coming up on the screen when somebody donates. And part of that is because I like to keep my my screen um, uncluttered. Uh, but also because a lot of people like to donate anonymously. They just don't like their names coming up. So unless I find out otherwise, uh, I will be thanking you individually. I'll send you Twitch messages saying thank you for your donation. That sort of thing. Uh, rather off stream rather than on stream. All right, so I've been told to look at Discord, so I need to see what what is up. Uh it's crashing repeatedly now. Okay. So it looks like something is broken. Well, dang it. <laughs> okay, well, in that case, um if I can get this to get out of my way here, uh, I'll put you on my Be Right Back screen, just so you have some cats to look at while I continue talking. Um, I won't be able to show you the rest of what I had planned for the end of the day tour, which was I finished up the dock uh, harbor office. So I'll have to remember to do that next time. And I think, yeah, I should be able to throw up a quick text thing here just to give you the, the Earl. Um, actually, no, if you're watching this on YouTube, look in the video description you'll see in two places it will tell you if you want to donate it gives you the patron earl patreon earl not patron patreon earl and the gaming for good earl that you can use and it's also in my list of links which is in a separate section it lists both those as well so you can uh, check it out and i think it's pretty cool actually they have a lot of features there and I think it's be a lot of uh, a lot easier than using Patreon. Anyway, Patreon. I keep saying Patreon. <laughs> All right. Well, it looks like the server is not going to be coming up. Oh wait, it looks like it is up. I'm going to risk logging in. I'll see if it crashes when I try to log in. Um, and if it is working, then I'll quickly show you the harbor office. Okay, I'm in. Let's quickly whip over there before it decides to go away again. Okay, let's orientate myself. Hi, excuse me. I was hoping to get a swan as part of the end of the day tour here, but I don't think that's going to happen. Right, so this is the dock area. We've made it look like a busy, actual functioning dock. We've got a nice little uh, impromptu fish market right here. And a uh, place for people to wait when they're waiting for their boat to arrive waiting for their ship to come in. And here is the harbor master's office and again another bench to wait on if uh, you're waiting for somebody else to be 
done talking to the harbor master, who currently is playing cards because, well, it's quiet. And back here, he has his little storage area of his own where um, harbor related things are stored. All right, so I am going to end my end of the day tour here now because uh, BBB uh, said that it may crash when she tries to log in, that may have may be a corrupted chunk. So I'm just going to say to everybody, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this end of the day tour. And I hope to see you in the stream sometime. You all take care now. Bye.